Hi, I am Roxana from VP State and in this video I will show how to create a custom contact page with Elementor for the VP Residence team. The VP Residence team includes a predefined template for a contact page. This is the one. You will have a map, contact details and a contact form, but this template cannot be edited with a page editor as Elementor. Such page can be easily created. I will show how this page was created. I will click edit page. You just need to create a new page and assign the contact page template. And the details from the page can be managed from team options, social and contact. The details that you add here will be the one visible in this page. If you want to create a different page with similar elements, for example, if you want to use a different contact form, you can create a page with Elementor and add the details that you want. So next I will show how to create such page. I will go to admin, I will go to pages, I will create a new page, I will add the title, I will disable the title on the page, I will disable the advanced search and the team header and also I will disable the sidebar. I will create this page on front end with Elementor. I will publish the page and I will click edit with Elementor. For the page to be full width, I will go to the page settings and select for page layout the Elementor full width template. I will save the change and I will start building the page. As header, you can add a similar map as the one from our default template. For that, you will need to use the VP Residence map with listings or contact details widget. You'll have it here. Here you'll have the option to select if the map will show listings or contact. I will select contact. You'll have the option to display or not this box with details. If no, you'll have only the pin of your office. I will set it to yes and you can set the map high. I will add a value here. The rest of the options here will apply only if you select properties. Here you can change the map layout if you use Google Maps. You'll have the option to add a snazy map code. Next I have set the map widget. Next I will need to make the entire section show as page header. So I will select the container. I will select here full width. I will go to advanced and here I will change the margin top value. I will add a negative value and now the map will show as the header from the default contact page. Page. Next I will generate a new container. I will select a container with two sections. In the first one I will add text and some details and in the second one I will create a custom contact form. I will add a heading where you can add your company name. From style you can change text color and make other settings like typography. Next I will add a text editor widget where you can add your company description. In style you can make settings for alignment, text color and typography. In advanced you can make other settings, for example set a width, set a line and others. Below the text I will use the icon box widget to add details of the company. Here I will add phone details. You can choose an icon. You can add here text and here I will add a phone number. I will go to style and change formatting. In icon you can change the icon color and in content you can change colors and typography for the text added here. I also can change typography and the same can be done for the phone number. In advanced you can set the alignment. Also in style you can change the icon position and make other settings. I will duplicate the same section to keep formatting. In the second box I will add email details. So I will select an email icon. I will change text here. 
and add your email address. I will duplicate it again and this time I will use it to add office address. I will change the icon, I will change the title and here you can add your company address. I have created a section of the company description. You can create it or not. You can add any other elements that you want and in the second container I will create a custom contact form. I will use the team contact form builder. This is the one. I will add it in the section with drag and drop. And in form fields, you can select the fields that you want. You'll have by default name, email and message, but you can add more fields and remove this. I will add a new field. In this drop down, you'll have the fields available for the contact form. I will select last name. Here, you will need to add the label that will show in the form and a placeholder. You'll have the option to select if this field will be mandatory or not. And you can set the field width. I will set this one to 50% because I want to display two fields per row. You can move the fields order with drag and drop. I will move last name below name and for name I will set it to be 50% as well. You can see that now I have two fields per row. Next, you have email. I will set this to 50% as well and I will leave it as it is. I will add phone number as well. This is the field. I will add a label and for placeholder you can add something else. I will set it to be 50% as well and I will move it below email and also I will make it to be required. Next I will add two more fields for address. I will add city. I will set the width as well and I will also add state. I will change the position above the message field and I am done with the contact form fields. Next you can set the contact form settings. You can add input, you can add labels. Also you can enable the GDPR checkbox. You'll have it here. If enabled, the user will need to tick the consent to be able to send an email. You will also have settings for the submit button. You can change here the text that will show. You can set the button size, the submit button width. I will make it smaller. And in email settings, you will need to add here the email that will receive the messages sent from this contact form. You, will, you can add here the email subject and you can add CC email address and BCC email address. In style, you can change this design settings for the contact form. You can change label text colors, you can change typography, you can make design settings for the field style as well. You can set field text color, typography and make other settings. Also you can style the GDPR text and style the button. You can set a color for the text in the button, you can change the border, you can change the border type, change color and set border radius values. I am done with the settings for the page. Now my contact page will have a map with my office location. For this map, the team options settings in contact and social will also apply and I will have a custom contact form with the fields that I selected. I will save the changes made and now on front end you will have a custom contact page created with Elementor. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.